Hi guys, welcome back. So uh, today will be the last uh, the last lecture on chapter five. Uh, we will go through um, a new type of uh, circuit called voltage divider bias, uh, and let's try to learn something together. So another type of circuit today. Um, so let's start with this circuit. Um, so this is a classic example of a discrete uh, transistor bias biasing. Um, so in this circuit, basically it's a common emitter circuit because the ground goes to the emitter. However, uh, we have a little bit of addition here. Okay. Um, the first addition is the emitter resistor. Um, and the second one is you see the whole range of a voltage divider is added into the base uh, the base circuit itself okay so how do you how do you analyze this circuit do you know how to analyze this circuit because I actually don't <laughs> so let's bring this circuit to something more familiar to all of us so uh, so if we use the Thevenin equivalent circuit to convert this one into this, okay. So now we can replace this whole branch with this one, which is more durable. So Thevenin equivalent circuit, what do we do? How can we calculate the voltage and the uh, the, the Thevenin equivalent voltage and the equivalent resistance here? So basically, for the voltage, you use the voltage divider rule. Okay, so uh, so R so R two R two, which is this resistance here, divided by the total resistance of R two and R one. Okay, uh, multiply for VCC. Okay, and um, the the thevenin the thevenin equivalent uh, resistance equal to R one parallel with R two. Okay, so this is the two equation that you have there. So next, we have the we replace the, the original circuit with the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Okay. So now we can analyze this loop right here to uh, basically trying to try to combine on a uh, like basically trying to figure out a terms for to relate our Thevenin voltage to. Um, all the other terms such as the, the base current and also the collector I mean the emitter current. So first we have uh, if we analyze this loop we have the uh, feminine voltage equal to now we start with this branch here. So the first voltage will be um, uh, the voltage across this resistance. So we have uh, I uh, base current multiply by the uh, feminine resistance. Okay, the next one will be uh, our VBE on. Okay, so this. And finally, we will have to add in the, uh, what do I say, the voltage across the collector, uh, the emitter resistance. So, IEQ multiplied by RE. Okay. So this value here, uh, how do we find it? We actually do not have it. Right? We don't have this number yet. But if our transistor is in forward active mode, okay, we can have this. Okay. We can have IEQ equal to one plus beta IEQ. Okay. Now we combine this equation and this equation together. That means you replace this variable here with this block. If you do that, you can actually now you can actually have an equation to calculate IBQ, and you have this, you have this, right? You, this is this can be given, this can be given, this can be given. So technically, you know how to calculate your uh, yeah, your IBQ, and I forgot to mention, but the goal here is. Uh, figure out how can we calculate on of the, the the current going in 
going into the base, going into the collector, going out of the emitter. So we have to calculate all the current. Okay, so we did find the hardest one. So we also know that I the collector current equal to beta multiplied by the base current. Piece of cake. So we, we plug all this number in for IB Q. Okay, so we got all of it, right? And of course, this one after you calculate this, you can like plug it back in here and calculate this again. So now let's go through one example together. So if I give you a circuit in here, okay, um, and the goal is the goal is to analyze. Um, so the goal is to analyze this circuit um, which use a voltage divide, divider bias circuit which is this one try to determine the Q point uh, with a variation of beta when circuit contain um, emitter resistor okay so in a, an easier under language to understand basically when people say trying to find a Q point that means you find everything that related to Q which is um, base current at Q point, uh, collector current, emitter current, and the collector emitter voltage. Okay. But let's start with one beta first. Let's let's, let's try not to overwhelm ourselves. Uh, okay. Let's start with beta equal 100. So first of all, we convert this branch of the circuit into uh, the thermion equivalent. Okay, and of course you can have you can calculate the thermion resistor, then the thermion voltage. Then next, uh, you analyze this loop here. Okay, or what you can do is you can plug in the equation that we derived in previous slide. So you have this equation here. You put in a number and you have your base current piece of cake after you have your base current now you multiply that for beta then you can have your collector current then you do the same thing multiply that for one plus beta you have your emitter current finally a little bit tricky here how can we find the uh, vceq so technically we go from top to bottom VCEQ is basically uh, VCC minus for the voltage across here, minus for the voltage across here. So VCC minus for ICQ multiplied by RC, then minus IEQ multiplied by RE. Okay, then now you have you plug in all of the number, you have the answer. So keep all of the important equation there. Okay, ignore all of the number. Uh, now we try to plug in with different beta. So we did that with beta equal 100. Now if you change that to beta equal 50, beta equal 150, you will have this table here. And in this table, okay, you can pause for a second if you want to. But in this table, if you recognize, even if you have a 3 to 1 beta like ratio in beta, so 3 to 1. Um, the current, the collector current uh, of this to this and the collector emitter voltage of this to this only you you a change of 1.29 to 1 ratio so it's not a linear when you like do not think of when you try like oh if I need to to increase the like the, the, the base current if I need to increase the I mean, sorry, if I need to increase the collector current, I can just um, increase increase the beta by five times, and I can bring up my collector current by five times. That's not true, so be careful about that. So, uh, ba so basically, in in this circuit in here, uh, what we learn is that if you use this this kind of voltage divider circuit of R1 and R2, uh, you don't need to use a very high value of resistor like basically your resistor can be in the low kilo ohm range however if you use only one single resistor for biasing uh, the value of the resistor will be required in the mega ohm range so it's a lot higher so in addition to that uh, as shown in this line here um, 
the change in the the, the collector current and the collector emitter voltage uh, re relatively to the change of beta has been substantially reduced compared to the change show in so show in the previous type of circuit that we went through so this is more like a feature than a bug so when we include an emitter resistor uh, re uh, it has extended the uh, uh, it's, it's basically when we include the, the emitter resistor IE, uh, it stabilizes the Q point, our Q point a little bit. Okay, uh, so this means that include the emitter resistor help to stabilize our Q point with respect to the variation of beta, uh, including resistor RE introduce negative feedback as well uh, as we will see in the later chapter and later on we will try to. Later on in this course, we're trying to learn about a negative feedback and how we stabilize that type of circuit. So that is it for our lecture today. Uh, what I want you to do is uh, go to the textbook and try and just remember I'm using the fourth edition of the textbook. So please use that edition. Uh, try to go through the design example uh, 5.16. Okay. Uh, so and also next I will try to release some reading assignment because uh, I will not make like, you, like YouTube video for this material but I will give you some reading assignment to read on hybrid pi model uh, and finally we can start moving on to chapter 6 uh, and I'll see you when I see you that was a lot of work oh, making a bunch of video in one week uh, so thank you so much for following the lecture series so far. Uh, I hope you guys on stay safe, uh, be healthy, and just keep learning along the course. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.